Hello guys. Um, fucking hell with you. Right, I've just done a review outside, um, which I've uploaded, the All In Brewing, and um, on playback I realised it was the wind was really playing out with the microphone, so I've decided to do this one indoors. Um, and we're going to be reviewing, well I'm going to be reviewing, a beer from the Brewski Microbrewery, I think they're Swedish as well. Yeah, and this is their... Um, Buena para el Papa C no uh, BB eleven <laughs> percent Imperial Stout. There you go. I'll tell you what, one of these days Joan's gonna send me a beer with like a name I can read on it. <laughs> right, let's get this one going. I'll tell you what though, I do like the crowns at these um Beers come with. Look at that one, a little chap with a monocle. Looks very cool. Right, let's get this one poured. So this one's 11%, it's a little bit stronger than the other one. I had a little nosy at the back, it did say that it was brewed with um, vanilla, so I'm expecting it to be a little bit sweet this one. Right, so there it is in the glass. Pitch black, coffee coloured head. Looking like um, every other really good Imperial Stout should look. Okay, look at the clinging on that. Way. Right, let's give it a nose. Whoa! <laughs> At first I sort of went in and I thought, well, I can't really smell anything. And then it was like, Whoa! there's a lot of alcohol present on this one. Big alcohol notes. But underneath that you're getting a lot of... Um, like a almost like a chocolate biscuit as opposed to like um like a rich chocolate, almost like it's um interspersed with something. It could be the vanilla. Yeah, you're getting a lot of nut on that as well, like hazelnut. Definitely hazelnut. But yeah, definitely milk chocolate, hazelnut. Quite a big um alcohol sort of. Not so much a sting, but like almost like a grip. Uh, just letting you know that it's there. And not to mess around with it. I'm getting a slight sort of, maybe like a little barrel aging um, smell as well. Um, like a whiskey or something like that. It's like a slightly woody note. But yeah, it's very, very complex. Um, probably a lot more flavours in there than this old Viking can pull out. But let's give it a go. Yoan, Skull. Cheers. Skull for fun. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, wow. Ooh, wow, wow, that, sorry, that is really nice. Oh god, it's so velvety and, and, and balanced and smooth. I was expecting it to be really harsh. I see what it tastes like. It tastes like, um, if you were to get like um, a, a plum and then just sink it in um, toffee and, and dark, dark chocolate and then just let it stew. Or let it sort of like take on all those notes. And then um, take it out. Squeeze that plum juice into a nice glass of rum or something like that. Add some more chocolate. And then just take a big old gulp. And it's like a ball of flavour. It's like all of these flavours condensed into this ball. And it's just like bloomp. And it just sort of glumps down your throat. And it glides. It's so smooth. I can't believe this is 11%. Oh man, that is so nice. Mm. <laughs> I'm so excited because I'm gonna just sit and savor the rest of this. Oh god, it's like this is this is this stuff is more than beer. It's like I don't know. Terry K, I've said it before, he said it once before, beer goggles, he said, 
drinking this sort of beer is like a being a millionaire, you know, where they've got their big posh champagnes and all that sort of stuff. But this is like the millionaire range of beer. Do you know what I mean? Um, oh, God. I'm getting lovely dark uh, coffee notes as well now, just sort of reverberating all around my tongue and my nose. You know what? I knew as soon as Johan made up this box, I knew it was going to be really, really good. Um, that is superb. That is absolutely superb. Um, that's definitely in the top five Imperial Stouts I've ever had. Definitely. I wasn't expecting much from it because it had a bit of a weird name and I've never heard of the brewery before, but whew, I'm not going to drink anymore because I'm just going to take my time with that. That deserves respect, that beer. It really does. 11 out of 10. It's amazing. It really, really is. Um, Brewski Microbrewery from Sweden, I believe. Um, 11%. What was it called again? Buena, Buena Para El Papa. Get it. If you can get this beer, get it. If you can't get it, go to Sweden and get it. If you can't go to Sweden, become friends with Johan and um, maybe he'll send you a bottle. Sorry, Johan. It's so nice. It really, really is. Um, I was going to sit and enjoy that for the rest of the evening. Oh, God.